Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to replace the shopping cart icon in your Squarespace 7.1 website with your own image. That's right, you can use any image you want to and that shopping cart icon will still function the exact same way when you use these custom codes that I'm about to show you. Now, as always, the codes are listed in the description below, but let's hop into my demo site so I can show you exactly how they work so you understand what you're gonna to wanna to change to make it look amazing on your own website. So here we are in my demo site. Again, this is specific for version 7.1. I've got the shopping cart icon up here on the top right hand side of my header. Really quickly, if you're not sure how to see that shopping cart icon, hop into edit mode, select edit site header, and here you can click into elements and toggle on the cart icon. I made it gigantic so it's really easy for us to see what's going on there. Again, that's edit site header, hop into elements, and toggle that on, okay? So let's assume you've got the card in there, you're ready to rock, let's play with some custom code. I'm gonna navigate to design, and then scroll down to custom CSS. Now this code is listed in the description below, but I'm just gonna copy it right here out of my demo site and paste it, and let's take it apart here. Now right away, it says stroke transparent for the header actions cart SVG. That's this little icon here. However, I can still see the shopping cart. That code's not important enough. I'm going to add exclamation point important to make sure my browser understands. I really wanna make sure we don't see it. Okay, now it's transparent. After that, we've said icon cart quantity display none. That gets rid of the number. If I remove that part of the code, we'll see the number pops up there. Let's paste it and now the number's gone. Now this part of the code is really important. This is where we're actually uploading the background image and it says image URL here. I'm going to delete that part of the code and we are going to use the URL for the image that I've uploaded here to my custom files. If you select manage custom files, you can just drag and drop the image into here like I did or click this arrow icon and upload your own image. Once you've got it, just click on that image and check it out. Squarespace put the URL right there in my code for me. Awesome, right? So now we can see Gus the pineapple, but I'm not quite done changing it because look, we're getting a pineapple and then like a half a pineapple. That's not what I want. That's because I've set it to background size contain. I just want it to cover it. So I'm gonna change that word contain to cover. There we go. Now we get one big version of Gus, but he's still getting a little cut off on the bottom. Let's add one more thing. Let's adjust the height of this particular background image. I'm gonna add a semicolon and say height, 50 px. Now check it out. Now we can see Gus the pineapple in his full glory. And this is the cool part. Because this is a background image, this cart is still going to function the exact same way. I'll select save and we'll click on Gus the pineapple and it will take us to the shopping cart page on our site. I've got nothing in my cart, so that's what we've got here. But you'll notice, see how my cursor changes? The cart option is still completely functional even though I'm using my own image. Alrighty, that's it for today's tutorial. Again, when you're using the codes listed below, make sure you update where it says image URL here with the URL for the image that you've added to your custom files. That's under design, custom CSS, manage custom files, that big button at the bottom of the block where you usually type in your codes, okay? So after you've done that, you can also change it to background size cover instead of contain, and feel free to add a custom height or a custom width so that your picture looks perfect. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. I created a PDF for Squarespacers that's packed with pro tips, code names, and style snippets specifically for Squarespace. Get the codes you need to make your site look incredible at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.